So you've booked him for your boudoir shoot. Now what do you do? So here are 10 tips on how to prepare uh, for your session before you even walk into the studio. So number one, get a manicure. So although your hands aren't going to be a huge focus in the picture, uh, they are going to be in the picture and there's nothing worse than having like chip nail varnish or chewed off uh, fingernails. So even if you come in with clear polish on your nails, uh, that's way better than having the chipped nail varnish. Number two, get a pedicure. So a lot of the times you might want to wear heels in your shoe. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I sometimes forget about the heels part because I think there's something really quite um, intimate about just going bare feet in your, um, in your shoe, uh, in your pictures. So getting a pedicure, again the feet are not a huge focus but you don't want them to look shabby either. Number three. Make sure your legs and your armpits are waxed or shaved because that honestly will cut down uh, on editing for me and also let's face it when you're all waxed and shaved you feel much better. Uh, you feel groomed so there you go. Number four your hair. So we're going to do loose curls for your shoe and uh, that's the best look for a boudoir shoe. Um, I've had mixed uh, tips on kind of um, you know what to do for the shoot. Uh, some people say have clean hair, some people say you know make sure you've got a little bit of grease in your hair. Uh, I honestly think it's more personal preference and um, like how your hair reacts to being curled. I know for me I need to have a little bit of grease in my hair for the curls to hold. Uh, so you know what works better. Uh, the point is don't come to the shoot with wet hair because it won't be blow dried. We want it to be dry when you walk in so that we can get straight into curling it. Number five make sure your skin is moisturized so moisturize the night before probably every day really leading up uh, to your shoot especially in that week before because dry skin really doesn't photograph well so that includes your lips as well so keep applying that lip balm uh, especially in the winter months as well when we've got a super dry uh, season number six Keep drinking water. That will also help with the uh, dry skin situation. Uh, you'll keep your skin nice and hydrated and moisturized. Number seven, plan your outfits. So that might include going shopping, it might include raiding your closet. Just have a clear idea of what to bring so that you're not stressing about it the day of or the night before. Uh, know well ahead uh, of what you want to wear and we'll shoot three to four outfits so bring more than that. Number eight. This is actually a don't do this. Um, don't tan. I know some of you want to because you feel pasty and white. Honestly that photographs really well in my opinion and I've had clients who have been insistent on tanning um, so I have said to do it three to four days prior to your shoot but honestly sometimes they wish that they hadn't done it at all so that's just uh, a little one in there um, and some advice. Number nine Come with a clean face. You don't need to apply any makeup before you come to the session because guess what? We have a beauty expert here that is going to do just that for you. Number 10. You don't have to go on Pinterest and find poses um, that you want to include in your shoot because I am going to include so many poses that you will forget that even about the poses that you wanted. But if it makes you feel better and it makes you feel more prepared, go ahead, you know. Find things on, uh, on Pinterest and share them with me. Add me to the board so that I can see what kind of look you are going for. So there you go, there are 10 tips, do's and don'ts of how to prepare for your session. Um, and next week, if you tune in, I am going to um, cover 10 tips of what to bring to your session. 
So until then, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you uh, liked what you heard today. And remember, I encourage you to step outside your comfort zone and into your confidence zone. My name is Emma Wood with Pretty's Picture Photography.